Well, let's discuss the point chart. Point chart is basically in the form of following shape. We have a vertical lines and point on the top of each line, either in a square shape or a circular shape. And at the top, we have a percentage value. And at the bottom, we have a name of each product or categories, whatever you call it. In this module, I'm going to create the point chart by using the same record that is the percentage of Windows, iOS, Android and other OS users. So without wasting any time, let's switch back to the Visual Studio and inside this main page, I'm going to tell you that I will not change anything. So let's switch back to the main page.xaml.cs file and there we have a list of entries that represents the data that we want to display on our device screen. And inside the constructor, we have the same scenario that is to access the chart, but this time we have a point chart instead of line chart. So let's remove this and add a point chart here. And you can see now that we can tackle the following properties of point chart accordingly. So the first thing I'm going to add is minimum value to 0 and maximum value to 100 so that my point chart will start from 0 and goes up to 100. And then I'll simply set the label text size. Well, if you want to change the label text size, you can change the float value here. The next thing is to set the margins of this chart control. So I'm going to add the margins of 10 units from all the sides and then we have an option to set the point mode. Well, I'm going to select the point mode to scale. You can also set the point mode to a circular shape and then we have an option to select the line size. Well, I'll simply select the point size to 20 units and then simply assign this underscore entries to the property entry which accepts the i enumerable and list and finally we can set the background color of this chart accordingly and now all done. Let's run this application on our device and you can see that a point chart control is displaying beautifully on our device screen. But if you want to change the point size, well, it's quite simple. Let's switch back to the Wheel Studio and change the point size to 30 units and run this application again. And this time you can see that our line size increases from 20 units to 30 units. Now the question is how to create a circular point chart from this chart control. Well, it's also quite simple. Let's switch back to the Wheel Studio again and inside your chart control, let's change the point mode property from square to circle. Now, if we run this application again on the device, then you will be able to see that this time our point chart changed from scale shape to circular shape. In the next module, I'm going to cover the donut and pie chart. So see you guys in the next module.